welcome to another Beauty min min Ninja's Mask Monday. Before I get started, I'm trying to catch up with some people that are in my comments because I don't always have time to comment, but I wanted to catch up with them in a different way. Today, I'm catching up with Trouble with Tish, and uh, I really love the haircut. She's doing her Eye Method Beauty, which is a pretty cool brand. Anyways, so into the mask. I had gotten this from Barbara a while ago, so this is what I'm doing. I'm putting all my masks. I put them all on top of each other, scooted them in a corner, and I'm just going to take one out every time. And I know I have two more bubble masks and two more tomato masks. I know that for sure. But this is a clay mask. It's cucumber and pink salt, and it's rejuvenating. And so I already wiped my face off with witch hazel. <coughs> Just because, so it'll soak up everything in here. And um, I like cucumber masks. They have like the spa smell. I don't smell anything here. And I've got this. This stuff is thick. I wonder, I have never paid attention to it. There are expiration dates on here, aren't there? Well. Okay, that's not a lot for one package. It's not a lot. I got another one of these clay masks in there. And I don't, I'm not sure what kind it is. This already looks a little messy. That's okay. Today, oh, oh yeah, it's thick. Oh yeah, that's enough. <sighs> I didn't think it would be like this, but oh, it feels good. Oh, and you feel the little sea salt in it. Or whatever salt it is. Let's cake this bitch up. Um, I love mud mask. Like back in the days I used to go to Afies, which is a military store on the on the base. And they used to have this mud mask. And when I would wear this mud mask, I would have the nicest pink cheeks in the world. Anyways, that's just about it. Okay. So that's one of my empties because we're fixing to go over some of my empties while I do this. And then I'm going to wash it off and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about this. Because um, I'm, I, I've done masks for so many years, y'all. Um, but I did slack on it for a good minute until I started doing the Beauty Ninjas Mask Monday. Which I really like because it gives you a minute just to... Take care of yourself, talk some BS, or show some stuff. Do whatever you want to do on your channel, right? So I'm going to put this to the side. That's one empty. Did I read the directions? No. Okay. <clears throat> so first off, i got three bottles of spray. Because I, I use sprays like a beast from Bath and Body Works. This one is the Frosted Coconut Snowball. This was my favorite from all of them. Because it reminds me of vacation, you know. Um, and this one is called At the Beach. And they're kind of similar. This is just a little bit different. has a little bit of the sun tanny smell. Just a tad. Not much. But I always grabbed this one more than this one. And this is a Christmas version. And this one is like a spring version. Nonetheless, they're both really good. This one I didn't use so much. It's called Into the Night. Got it for Christmas, um, but I did, you know, put it in a different bottle and mixed it with other perfumes, and I sprayed it everywhere in the house. I just like to do that. I spray my bed pillows, my sheets, and everything I have in the house with my big bottle, and um, yeah, so this, uh, it was still okay, but I wouldn't buy it, but it, it was still used, right? I use your shit. I buy this one over and over and over. This is the um, body fantasies and it's the gardenia no white musk white musk but the gardenia one from body ecology that's fucking bomb but this is white musk and i've been buying this for years out of that way so here we go i got this hairspray from my mom um when i was at my cousin's wedding shaping hairspray it's still got some in it but it fucking come out. It's aggravating as shit. Other than that, it was a good hairspray. Um, waxes. Yankee Candle Evergreen Mist. 
very good. Yesterday I got some Sensationals from Walmart. I got the Forever Pine or Pure Pine. I forgot it. And it's, it's really good too. And it costs the same as this. And uh, yeah, it smells just like Christmas. It smells just like Christmas tree. Okay, then I got these two. This is Grandpa's Chair and Timber and Patchouli. They smell really good for five minutes and then you don't smell them anymore. So even though they were on sale for $1.50 each, I think it's a waste of money when you just can't smell them anymore after you put them in the wax burner. So these were from oh, Hobby Lobby. They were on sale at Hobby Lobby. Okay, one more wax. We got the Crimson from Saints. Uh, Sensationals. This is the little package. They're for two dollars. This was pretty good. A very nice fall smell with a touch of cinnamon and a touch of woods. Excellent. So then I got the Zing. I got this at the Dollar Tree. This is a good dupe for the sleigh all day. It's a facial mist, but I use it as a setting spray. I actually have another one. I have a lavender one. And uh, I gotta get rid of my sleigh all days, but I use this in between because I don't want to pay another fifty dollars for a kit of sleigh all days, which is not expensive because the whole kit is like two big bottles and one little bottle. Okay, then I have the Elvive Volume Filler from L'Oreal Police Volumizing Shampoo. Okay, I almost I'm almost done with the conditioner. The, the thing about this shampoo, it's volumizing, it has a thickening formula. I didn't realize just how true it is. I, it's too much for me. My hair is just so it's thick as it is. I was just hoping to give it some lift, but I guess they're just heavy. But it was it made it hard to manage. I think it's good for people who have shorter hair, um, and not so heavy as mine. If they have short thick hair, it might be really great for them because a volume boost. But this was too much for me. Nonetheless, it smelled good. It was good. It did as it promised. So then I have this cuticle oil and I don't know who it's from but I know that I got it from Becky's Empty Nest and um, it took me almost a year to use it because I got it in my Give Thanks box uh, for Thanksgiving and I used it to the very last drop like there's nothing in it and that was an, it was an awesome cuticle I'm gonna miss you last we have um, vanilla bean buttercream this was from Scentsy and to me, lately, they all smell the same. So anyways, that's it, that's it with my empties. Thank God, because there's no more room in my little bucket. My little dumb ho bucket. And um, so anyways, I'm going to go wipe this off. It feels really good, y'all. And um, I'm going to put me some, some oil on in my face. Okay, I'm back. So the reason why I took it off so early is because clay mask, you can feel when it kind of cracks. And um, it does suck everything out of your skin. I was really happy that it had the cucumber and salt in it because salt would make your skin suck up stuff. So when you're done, it's a really good idea when you use any kind of clay mask to put on some oil. And I've got this uh, Malin and Guts Recovery Oil. It's halfway full, so I'm going to go ahead and work on that now. Um, because I have the goddess oil, I have a whole bottle that I've gotten from my beautiful friend, Beauty and More, Renee. And I'm just going to let it soak. Mmm, smells good. It smells a little bit like lavender. It smells good, though. And uh, ooh, I, even though I washed off thoroughly, I can still feel some salt. So I guess I didn't do it thoroughly enough. Let's get this little lid part. See, I got these little wrinkles there. Piss me off. I don't even know if you can get those going. Like, even with surgery, I don't even know if that's possible. But, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week this week. Thanks for watching my video and listen to me talk some shit. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you.